Roll. Hi everyone, we're going to get straight into the video tonight because it seems that the jibber jabber at the start of the last one was stopping people watching very much. We'll talk about the belt squat, um, why we like it, how to use it, how to use it correctly, um, so we'll get straight into it. Um, most people that have access to a belt squat love it. Um, some of the things that we like it because of are the extra volume that you can get in your thighs, the extra volume you can get in your legs without loading your spine. Certainly without loading it axially. If, you know, if you've got lower back problems because you've been doing a bit much, this will allow you to do an incredible amount of volume um, whilst at the same time um, giving you restoration. Because it's tractioning your spine and also correcting pelvic tilt. It's something that it absolutely does um, and you can live by this. Um, we like the belt squat marches as well, where you lift your legs, as we showed in the video the other day. But we're lucky enough to have one. Um, the cable goes straight through the floor, comes around and up, so that you can load the trotter, you can load the cassette here, or whatever you call it, with either straight weight or band tension. And we do both, um, depending on what you want to do. And again, depending on how much knee bend you want, you can do it on blocks, as we will often do. So we'll put the blocks here, and this is in fact what we'll show you today. You can put the blocks there. Particularly if you're short. Particularly if you're, yeah, particularly if you're short. Certainly shorter than me anyway, and I am only short. However, one of the important things that we want to show you though, is how to put on the belt properly. So, it's called a belt squat, but it's also a lot of the time called a hip squat. And the reason it's called a hip squat is because the belt is meant to be on your hips meant to be in a nice comfortable position here where it absolutely is not meant to be is right up there on your back and the reason for that is as the weight gets heavier because bear in mind once you've taken your back or your spine out of the movement if you were going to do a regular squat it's because you can use so much more weight on the belt squat you present yourself, if you have this belt on incorrectly in this position here, the shear forces that are presented can be, can be quite detrimental to your spinal health. Particularly when your erectors aren't engaged because they've got no reason to be engaged to keep your spine flat. So here, low rise. Sorry? Low rise, not high rise. Flat. Okay. So yeah, we've got this here. So don't have it high. Don't make the mistake that a lot of people do of having this that really high in your back. It's meant to be down on your hips here. Anyway, um, as we know, modern um, science has taught us that the best uh, for muscle building mechanism to do that is to get as much load as you can in the stretch position. So if you're short like I am, Use some blocks, come right down into the bottom position with as much knee bend, and then up, because you're loaded at the bottom of the movement there. So yeah, movement, you can have a, a more a wider stance here, which is obviously more of a powerlifting stance, which is going to bring more hip and more hamstring into the movement, particularly if you're sitting back. But anyway, that's why we love the belt squat. So many things you can do with it. Other things that we have noticed you can do, use it for all kinds of things. We'll often put bars on it uh, for grip work and we'll hold like a thick grip, um, those kinds of things. So yeah, we love the belt squat. If you've got a gym, if you're in a gym that's got one, make use of it. Um, it can be incredibly beneficial to your recovery and restoration, as we said. But please, whatever you do, just make sure that you get that belt on properly so that you don't cause yourself some damage. But anyway, see you again next time. If you like this video, do us a favour and subscribe so we can grow the channel. And we'll see you next time.